There are nearly 20 children who have died after they were left in hot cars, and now one group is taking the fight all the way to the White House, Maria. You know, just yesterday, a baby was left in a car outside a courthouse here in Atlanta. Yeah. A little girl, the little girl was rescued by Good Samaritan, and the father now faces charges. And then in Houston, Houston. shoppers smashed a window to save two more kids inside a hot car. This while their mother got a haircut. Yeah, so our Julie Martin is live this morning to tell us how you can get help and end this problem. Julie? Sam and Maria, kids in cars wants the White House to pay attention. The group is actually launching a petition. It's a campaign the Weather Channel is supporting when targeting the auto industry. Days into summer and already 17 children have died in hot cars. Kidsincars.org is a group tracking these tragedies and pushing for change. If you think it can't happen to you, then you won't put the protections in place that will prevent it from happening. The group is launching a White House petition urging the federal government to take action. It wants the Department of Transportation to research and test new technology that could be used in vehicles to warn drivers when a child is left in a car. It's also asking for the installation of technology in all vehicles and or child safety seats to prevent kids from being left alone. Kids in Cars argues that there are alarms for seat belts, headlights and gas gauges and a child safety warning is overdue. Jenny Stanley agrees. In 2010, she lost her six-year-old daughter, Sydney, after she climbed inside their unlocked car and couldn't get out. When they got to the car, they saw her in the back seat, um, behind the passenger seat in the fetal position, and it was just too late. In well over 50% of cases, children die after unknowingly being left inside vehicles. Cases like Stanley's that involve a child climbing into an unlocked car happen about 31% of the time. One of the reasons the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration doesn't think new technology is the ultimate answer. A significant number of the children who have died, died because they got into a car and no one was there to protect them and they got stuck in that car. The seats would never even help in such a situation. But both sides know something has to be done and want parents to be the first line of defense. One of the biggest mistakes they can make is having the wrong attitude. I would have never in my wildest dreams or imagination thought something like this could have happened to us. Kidsincars.org needs 100,000 signatures by August 12th. They already have about 1,000. We're going to give you all the information you need to know coming up next about that website. We are also going to show you what you can do if you see a child in a hot car. We have some help here from the fire department. We are going to learn how to break these windows coming up next hour. So if you see someone, you can pitch in and help. Sam? Mm. All right. Thank you, Julie, so much. It's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. And you, if you want to put your name on that petition, here's what you do. You go by visiting the website on the screen or kidsandcars.org. All right, and coming up later on AMHQ, as Julia said, we're going to show you some things you can do if you find a child trapped in a hot car, including a way to break the window without hurting yourself or the child. And that's really important because mm -hmm. you know you want to run to it. The windows are, are, are made not to break mm -hmm. easily. Right. So how do you do that? How do you do it safely to the child that's inside? Very important stuff.